Hello everyone. It's 5 p.m. in Moscow, so the appropriate greeting would be good evening. Though I understand it may be early morning or late night where you are now. The brick wall behind me is not the wall of Kremlin. Not yet. Uh, however, let me tell you something. Uh, it's not too far away. We calculated the distance between the main building of the Moscow School of Economics, HSC University, and the Kremlin. It's 1.18 kilometers or 0.73 miles, so it's a walking distance and it's a nice walk if the weather is friendly. Uh, this is our second webinar about the new master's program in Russia studies offered by the HSC University this year. First intake in 2019. It's a two-year full-time master program. The field of study, the degree you will be receiving at the end <coughs> is in political science, but de facto the program is multidisciplinary and later during the webinar I'll tell you how it's built. The language of instruction is English. Uh, all very good or neutral news. The bad news is that uh, tuition for the program is about 5,000 euro, depending on the exchange rate per academic year. And on the first year, we are not in a position to offer any discounts. Uh, these are the basic facts. Uh, now, what's the concept of the program? Why do we offer it? Uh, Russians often repeat after poet Fyodor Tuchev that Russia cannot be measured by a common yardstick. One has to believe in it or rather than comprehend it with reason. Uh, several decades later, Winston Churchill called Russia a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. I can't say we have all the keys and all the tools to unwrap mysteries, but we think we have something close to a yardstick. Uh, which allows an aspiring student to learn to measure and understand Russia. That yardstick is the science of comparative politics, though we do attract uh, tools uh, from other fields of study. It's a kind of a good fusion between political science and what is known as area studies. Uh, going into depth into the country's history, culture, uh, sociology, and everything. Uh, why choose the program? What can we boast? Well, first of all, <coughs> HSC is a high school of what we call much more than economics. It started as a school teaching economics, but now it's a university offering master's and bachelor's programs in <coughs> dozens of fields of study. In a quarter of a century its existence, it developed into one of the leading Russian universities, ranking high in international ratings. <coughs> Second, how was the idea of the program conceived? We are a team of political scientists, demographers, sociologists, <coughs> economists, who are teaching these disciplines mostly about Russia for about 20 years. Uh, we sort of explored the field of these sciences uh, with the best knowledge of international experiences and expertise available in this university. We think we know Russia and we want to transfer our knowledge of politics and society to anyone aspiring to work in Russia and or with Russia. We are academics, and our academic transcripts and records are <coughs> available <coughs> for those curious, but we are not only academics. Uh, many of our faculty members have an experience of advising government agencies, doing electoral campaigns, doing opinion polls and sociological research, elaborating development strategies for regional and municipal governments. Uh, I, for one, <coughs> is the president uh, of one of the oldest political consulting companies in Russia called Center for Political Technologies. <coughs> Our <coughs> center did something close to 100 electoral campaigns in Russia. We have quarter of a century experience in focus groups, and, uh, opinion polls, political analysis, etc., etc. All that does not help me as a professor of, the, of this university because there is never enough time. But at the same time, what I know about Russia, 
I know not from newspapers or TV, not even internet. I know it from my practical experience and I am willing to share my knowledge with you. Uh, that's why we say that our approach to studying Russia and to teaching Russia is academically comprehensive but practically oriented. Uh, <clears throat> the last but not least of advantages, uh, you'll have an opportunity to live in Russia in Moscow for two years and you'll have numerous avenues to come to know this country better. How is the program built? Uh, five components. Uh, first of all, since the degree is political science, there are required courses in political science, but there are only two of them. Besides, there is a research seminar in political science. <clears throat> we have several core courses which we label as required courses in Russian studies, and everybody in the program will have to take it. Uh, aside from that, we have a broad menu of elective courses. You will be required to take a certain number of these courses, but you choose. It's political science, it's sociology, it's demography, and demography is a critical <laughs> essence for Russia, same as I would say for many other countries. It is political economy, international relations. Uh, yes, there are courses covering Russia's place in the world, Russia's relations with China, with uh, Central Asia and Middle East. Uh, the instruction is in Russian. <coughs> you will not be required <coughs> to take uh, Russian as a subject, but if you are willing to, we offer optional intensive course of Russian. The full list uh, will be available pretty soon, as soon as we are ready. Oh, it's, it's already available on, on, on uh, our it's website. It's available. What is not available uh, is the exact timetable. <clears throat> oh, we need more time to put each course in its slot in each semester. Of oh, the questions uh, I see on my monitor, there's only one which needs immediate reply in this context, uh, the deadline and the start of the program. The very dead deadline is August 20, but I urge you not to delay it until that time because we require at least two weeks for examining your papers, getting back to you, probably inviting you for a Skype interview. And then uh, many of you, uh, when admitted, I'm not saying if, I'm saying when admitted, will need uh, to process a Russian visa, and that takes time. So realistically, if you are seriously considering applying for this program, make sure to send your package by, say, late July or very, very early August. As uh, for the beginning of the program, it's the first week of September. We don't have a timetable for the fall semester of 2019 yet, so we don't know on which day. Uh, normally, it's uh, three hours of lectures starting from 6 p.m. Moscow time. Uh, well, I guess this is it for basic facts and figures uh, about the program. And I cannot see any immediate questions I need to answer. Please, if you have any questions, any comments, please go to the chat and write in. Oh. We answered this one. Yes, one thing I forgot, uh, <coughs> shame on me, on my right is Arseniy Starenchenko, the manager of the program. And excuse me again, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Boris Makarenko, the academic supervisor of the program, and I'll be teaching a course on Russian political institutions, which is one of the required courses in Russian studies. So if you apply, and when you are admitted, we will surely meet. Um, you, you mean the final thesis, uh, master's thesis? Oh, you have obviously to write a master's thesis, uh, but uh, not necessarily in my subject. I would welcome that, but you will be free to 
choose uh, the subject in the course of which you select in a consultation with your professor a topic for your master's thesis. And of course, each course will have its own requirements. Uh, the uh, syllabi for all the programs will be available on our website in due time. Prospects of mobility during the course. Uh, we are thinking of that. Uh, the program only starts next fall. Uh, HSE have several campuses, uh, including St. Petersburg, Perm, the city of Perm in the Urals, and Nizhny Novgorod uh, on the Volga. Uh, we have in mind to arrange for you uh, short internships or visits to these campuses. Uh, and uh, okay, yeah, we've, we've got uh, several uh, agreements with uh, uh, other universities in Europe, uh, several universities in the United States. Uh, you can find a full list uh, on the HEC's website. Just Google the HEC uh, partnership universities. It will be the first page. Uh, yeah, and you basically can choose any of the of universities in the list and uh, uh, go there there for a short or a longer period. Um, I believe the longest period available for um, one application is uh, one semester, half a year. Uh, but you could repeat that. Mm -hmm. Accept it. Uh, Arsenio, we have a question from down under. Uh, is obtaining the two-year visa generally straightforward? Uh, um, that is, should the applicant mm -hmm. uh, apply and get, uh, receive a two-year visa, so he'll only have to do it once. So, I don't know that actually right now can answer it right now, but uh, I I think uh, yeah I I can. Paul, uh, we know you, we have your uh, address, uh, Arseni will look into that and will reply by email as soon as feasible. I can get a program and pay fees. What do you mean, how can you get the program if you, uh, I'll admit it, you are in the program and there are courses in sociology. And paying fees, the procedure for paying tuition fees uh, is described on the HSC website and uh, will guide you to the instructions in your course. Uh, is it possible to get a scholarship? Not on the first year. Uh, for further, uh, unless you get a grant from uh, your government or from uh, a uh, non-governmental organization. Uh, not from us. Not on the first year. In uh, <coughs> future years, we hope we'll, off we'll be able to offer uh, systems of uh, discounts for <coughs> which. HEC normally uses in many programs, but unfortunately not on this one, not this year. HEC has double degree options with several universities. Is this program in prospect of negotiating such a degree? Uh, in principle, yes. Uh, I will not disclose which universities we are talking to. And that's certainly on uh, our laundry list, but uh, I'm afraid not for the first year.
let's wait for more questions to come so far. How about prospect continuing PhD after studying here? Of course, uh, <coughs> HSC uh, offers these opportunities and of course you'll be free to enroll in an, uh, <coughs> with a degree from this university you'll be able to apply for a PhD program elsewhere. But uh, we do that, we have that. HSC name on Russia scholarship program? What do you mean by Russia scholarship program? Uh, yeah, there is uh, several, several masters and bachelor's programs of HEC University in Russia scholarship program, but not our program yet, not on the first year. How many places are available for 2019 intake? <coughs> uh, let me say enough. Uh, we, this is the first year. We don't know how many people apply. Uh, we are looking at a class uh, between 20 and 30 people, but uh, if we see that there are more worth the application than that, we'll consider expanding it. What, what level of Russian language can be learned in two years? Oh, first of all, it depends on you. Uh, the course we offer is intensive, so uh, presumably it allows you to be uh, more or less fluent and, and be able to use Russia professionally uh, as an interpreter, to be able to write in Russian business papers or uh, academic papers. Uh, for the duration of the course, uh, the question is irrelevant because uh, all the process, all the instruction, all the writing is in English. But I understand that uh, uh, many people will be glad to use this opportunity to become uh, professional Russian speakers. And of course, don't forget that these are two years you are spending in Russia, in Moscow and or other places and being in the language, in the linguistic environment, greatly facilitates the, uh, the lessons you are receiving at the university. Open door scholarships? Uh, yeah, there, there is an open doors Olympiad, and yes, HEC is participating in, in that Olympiad, uh, but not our program yet. No, we are planning to uh, to be in the list, maybe in the next year. Yeah, ma many of your questions are relevant for HSC and relevant for many good universities. Uh, the thing is, we need a kick off. We need to start, and then uh, I am sure we'll join many programs. And uh, future years applicants will have a broader range of opportunities uh, than you do. But that's the fate of a pioneer in everything, including you, including myself and Arseni. What would be the cost of living in Moscow, the room and board and living cost? Uh, so HSC is uh, offering uh, dormitories and uh, uh, Moscow government is, uh, th there is a system of social benefits for every student in Moscow. Uh, so there is a uh, transport discounts, uh, several uh, just general shops discounts, and uh, the dorms are a very reasonable price. Yeah, they are like uh, twenty dollars a month, so they are very cheap. Uh, but if you are willing to rent a room, uh, I believe just a room in in a free four. Well, uh, yeah, three, shared four. with your roommates. Yeah. It will be like uh, 15,000 rubles uh, for a room in uh, uh, I, $200, dollars yeah, something yeah. like that. For a decent room in a decent location, not okay. necessarily very simple. $500. Somebody yeah. offers a, an answer to that, $500 per month if you want to be okay. Uh, I, really, I wouldn't call that a luxurious life, but yes, that's something you can manage on. For five hundred dollars, you can rent a separate uh, flat. No, but the boy or the girl also have to eat and <laughs> commute and other things. But five hundred dollars is uh, doable. Yeah. Uh, 
is it possible to work during education? Uh, does the status of the visa permit employment? Uh, yeah, there is a, a bit of difficult question about the status of student visa. Uh, you can surely work in our university uh, with the student visa. Uh, we are offering uh, different positions for our students, teaching consultants, teaching assistants, uh, maybe assistants in uh, different laboratories. Uh, and about the other organizations, not our university. Uh, mm -hmm. It could be a bit difficult, but uh, I, I know several students who are working in in, uh, in different organizations in Moscow and studying. Uh, one of uh, our audience had an experience of um, being in HSC before he mentions dormitories and comfortable places in special need of uh, VDHX Park, that's the uh, exhibition in the park. Uh, HSC has several universities uh, in Moscow or uh, nearby suburbs. I believe it's Prospect near a uh, yeah. dormitory. Yeah. yeah, it should be. Yeah, it's nice. Can I volunteer? I volunteer. Can I volunteer legally in think tank while studying? Uh, I guess so. But uh, let us check. We so we have two questions, both uh, pertain to the legal status uh, here, the duration of the visa, and uh, uh, the opportunities to, to work. We'll check that. Uh, this question comes from uh, Mr. Babrik Kushabaha. Please make sure to send us a message containing your email address uh, to the email you can see on this slide. Uh, but mm -hmm. if you mean you you want to volunteer, uh, I mean the, it's yeah. well, volunteering. <laughs> if you want to, to volunteer, there are no legal obstacles. If the if a think tank or NGO or any other uh, is willing to accept you uh, your volunteer services, uh, certainly there are no restrictions. Uh, as for uh, receiving legally a pay for your work or uh, efforts, let us check that. Is there age restriction on securing a position in the program? Uh, not that I know of. No, no. The, the, uh, if you are already obtained a bachelor's degree, then there is no any age restrictions. Uh, in Moscow, can work study, etc. It's a good place for come true to your life. That's what one of the applicants is writing. Moscow is a very lively city, but it's a very dynamic megapolis, and I'm sure that uh, you will not have enough time to uh, follow all the opportunities it offers. Depends on you. As a professor, I do not encourage my students to do full-time or even serious part-time job because uh, I know what a master's program is. Uh, I've been through one myself a uh, quarter of a century ago. I know uh, how much time it consumes. Uh, we try to provide as much as possible in the class, but uh, to complete the program, you have to do a lot of homework. And of course, I understand that young people can combine work and study and leisure and many other things, uh, but mind there are only 24 hours in every day you live. How English friendly is Moscow? Oh, compared to what? Uh, in Russia, probably St. Petersburg is more friendly. Uh, Moscow is improving, uh, but uh, compared with many European cities, particularly cities in Germanic Europe, uh, no, Moscow is not there yet on that level. But many street signs are now uh, in Latin characters and it's in English. Uh, thankfully, in the metro, uh, you'll see all the signs and all the announcements in English too. So we are improving. <laughs> it's more friendly than London. <laughs> Gosh. 
What do you mean? Carry on a master's of program in social sciences. It is a master's program in social sciences, uh, political science is a social science. How many lectures are there per week? Normally it's uh, five weekdays, uh, three hours of lecture, six to nine, I think I mentioned that. And uh, how do you go about applying? Yeah, uh, just go on our website here uh, on your screen, hsc.ru and M-A-R-S and uh, you will see the big uh, button right there uh, on the upper right corner apply now just press that button there will be all the instructions uh, so just check it out and uh, if you have any questions after just uh, send me a message on the presented uh, yes the master's program will start in September uh, the first week of September I don't know which day easy to navigate okay yes and uh, one of the advantages in Moscow is uh, that it's <coughs> very friendly for smartphone users plenty of applications including uh, street maps transport maps and all that I'm sure you own one and very quickly learn to use it to navigate through Moscow How long is the semester? How long are summer and winter vacations? Semester, the fall semester starts in September and that ends shortly before Christmas. The uh, spring semester starts uh, around uh, January 10, mm -hmm. uh, proceeds to the end of uh, May and examination session is in June. So between June and early September you have your summer vacations. Yeah, and uh, ten, 10 days more between the January 1st. Yes, we have uh, breaks in the middle, uh, uh, a, a week of uh, de facto breaks in the middle of uh, each semester, in uh, late October, early November, and late February, early March. Is there a possibility to be a teaching assistant? Yes. Possibility, certainly. yes. Certainly, uh, I can't say the pay is generous. Uh, I believe in, uh, in in that semester right now we are paying uh, $200 for uh, one more. Ah, yeah, we are having modular system. So there is uh, two modules in one semester. So first model from uh, start starts from uh, September, October. Yeah. And uh, then uh, November, December. November, December. Yeah, and uh, it's two hundred dollars for one module uh, for the course, uh, which is taught in in English. So, mm -hmm. uh, in one semester, you can earn uh, about four or five hundred dollars. What's the difference between Rudn, that's another university, and HSC? Oh, the history is different. Rudn, which stands for University for Friendship of People. Uh, was started like half a century ago mostly for students from the third world and it used to be named after a uh, Congolese leader Patrice Lumumba uh, so uh, it was initially oriented to teaching international students but in Russian uh, international students had to go through one preparatory year when they were studying Russian and uh, uh, it's not, I'm not in a position to evaluate other universities and I don't have a detailed knowledge of what kind of master's programs they have to offer, but uh, that university uh, certainly is continuation of uh, solid school. Uh, HSC has a disadvantage of being young, it's only a quarter of a century old. It has an advantage of uh, not having any of what is known as path dependence. Uh, we built our academic programs, we built our knowledge based on the contemporary international political science, if you are talking about humanities. And uh, certainly our, in the 25 years our university made 
quite a spectacular progress in uh, international ratings and in the quality of teaching. We started as an economic school, but uh, now our program is as comprehensive as any other big university. What is the economic major career prospect in, in Russia? Huh. Uh, economic major meaning uh, BA economics. Uh, there are too many types and subtypes. Uh, are you a Russian or an international student? Well, I guess from your name, you are not Russian. Uh, depends. Economists, uh, economists by the baccalaureate diploma can go into business studies, they can go into political science study, they can work in business, in consultancy, they can go in, in teaching. Uh, for one, there are too many uh, economists, or at least economists by their academic degrees in Russia. Uh, not, uh, may, not all of them can find good jobs. But, uh, depends on what kind of school gave you that diploma. Our is one of the best in Russia, one of the best available. Yes, somebody gave an exactly same answer. Econometrics, I am not an economist, you'll have some economists on uh, our program. Uh, it's not economics per se, but it's rather political science. It's uh, Whatever in uh, economics, whatever in the economic situation connects with how the country lives, how the society feels, that is on our program. But uh, no, this is not an economic major. And for some it will sound as an advantage, for some others probably as a disadvantage. Uh, our program is not heavy on uh, economics and on numbers in general. Many other programs, including the Russian language program in uh, comparative pol politics have a much stronger uh, economic and mathematical component. Our program is reasonably light on that. What percent of students are international students? Oh, oh we have several dozen countries uh. sending students here, but largely depends on the program. Our program is open to anyone speaking English from Russia or from anywhere in the world. Uh, we uh, hope that we will have Russian applicants who want to study Russia uh, as a part of a global community and to be able to uh, be ambassadors of Russia in a direct or allegorical sense in the world. But uh, realistically speaking, we'll, uh, we believe that uh, most of our applicants will be coming from uh, other countries. Uh, what is my career? Uh, forget the Soviet career, I was young then, but I had an opportunity to go to a um, um, graduate program at Princeton University in New Jersey, after which I joined a team of uh, young academics who decided that they knew how democracy works and how Russia and how market works. Uh, both were unavailable in the Soviet Union and we thought we knew something from uh, international studies. My American, my partner, uh, French and British. Uh, and we started a political consultancy, a very naive idea. Uh, amazingly, 27 years later, that center is still alive. I was uh, giving that consultancy. I mentioned what we do as a, the Center for Political Technologies. And you are welcome to visit the website of that center. But uh, at some point, uh, I realized that uh, the knowledge I have and the <clears throat> academic work I was pursuing, I got a PhD meanwhile, <coughs> that that knowledge deserved to be transferred to other students. I started uh, a uh, professor's career uh, in 2007 in a different university. Since 2011, I'm teaching uh, at HSC University as a part-time professor, but <coughs> when this program was approved by the HSC Academic Council, I uh, was made the academic director. 
Yeah, and uh, on the uh, percentage of international students in HEC, you can go on our website hc.ru and uh, go down and there is a fact and figures a button, press it and uh, there will be a map like that <laughs> if you'll see it. So uh, there is uh, any, any country uh, is marked and uh, there is a total number and percentage of international students in our university in general. So all the data is available on, on that link button figures on the area. Is it possible to change my major in master to MBA? Not in this program. This program offers a master's degree in political science. Uh, I'm sure there are, uh, uh, there are MBA programs in Russia, uh, uh, but uh, this is not the program you should be applying for if you want to get an MBA. Is it possible to take extra courses apart from this major and can one get credit for it? Well, first of all, uh, if we go back here, uh, these three blocks, this one, this one, and this one, are required courses. Uh, these are elective and optional. Uh, there is a minimum limit for the courses you have to take to meet the requirements, but uh, you can enroll in more courses than that, including Russian, uh, and get credits for it. Uh, one thing I'm not quite sure about, if a student takes more courses than uh, we require, uh, do they have to pay for extra courses? Uh, it's 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 free uh, unless it's uh, I believe 66 credits for two years is is for uh, they are in the yeah, so general fee yeah mm -hmm. and uh, if you want to go uh, higher yeah. for like 70 uh, credits or or even more uh, then there'll be additional payment for that uh, it, you need to just divide the the amount of uh, of tuition for one year, uh, divide it on 60, and then uh, multiply it on the additional uh, credits you want to take. So, When you see an exact timetable and, uh, or a plan, you'll see how many credits each course is worth, and then you can make an easy calculation. Yeah, but, but usually we are offering uh, 60 uh, credits for two years, uh, or yeah. yeah, you have a reserve. Yeah, you, you have a reserve in uh, six credits. And mind, there are natural limitations. Uh, in ma uh, master school, normally works late afternoons and evenings, uh, and you'll have your courses uh, occupying full time on that. No more question. Ah, okay. What will be the final degree? Political science. Let's go to the first slide. I'll show you. Ah, yes, it's the very first slide. Yes, here it is. You're welcome. Okay, so far I can see only thank yous from several of the participants. I wait for another couple of minutes as somebody is uh, considering the last minute question. If I don't see any new messages in two minutes, then I'll thank you for, the, for your attention and say goodbye. But two minutes. It's 4.40. 440 in Moscow is there.
What a degree heat of down under. Yes, yes, you're in the middle of summer here. It's not too bad. Uh, actually, the weather is nasty these days. It's around zero centigrade. Uh, but we used to have uh, very good Christmas frosts. Not every winter. Even in Russia, not a, oh, most Christmases are white. But we don't get enough snow and enough frost uh, every winter. Global warming, I guess. Okay, I've seen, I guess this is it. Yep, so thank you everyone for participating. Thank you for your interest in Russian studies and uh, awaiting your applications. Goodbye now.